Hi and welcome to another episode of Pessy Plays Guernsey FC with me Andy. Um, as you see on the screen we've had the dynamics. Um, just have a quick look at this. Interestingly we've got a few influential players and onwards now which is good. Um, Jamie Dodd is the team leader. Uh, he's not getting many games because he's fourth stroke fifth best centre back at the moment but uh, it's good that we've got a team leader from the regards of mentoring because he um, you know, does have quite an impact there. And our highly influential players are Callum and Goal, Tom De La Mare and Harry. Now Callum and Harry play most games. Tom plays most games from a, a subs position, but it's good that they're highly influential, uh, influential. And then you have Charlie, Frank, Kieran, Frank. Did I say Frank? Yeah, two Franks. I forgot we've got two Franks. Crazy. Uh, so Charlie, Frank, Kieran, Frank, Glyn and Joe. Now of those, only really Glenn and Kieran don't play that much. Everybody else does play all the time. So it's good that we've got the influence in the team. Um, we've played three games since uh, we last met. And um, here they are. Yep, so we had a one all against Worthing. Um, Worthing finished seventh in the Bostic Prem last year. So a good team. As you can see on the screen, uh, we weren't robbed as such. But it was just an unfortunate Harry Toberlone goal. The eight second minute that brought it back to one all. A quick look at the stats. Worthing had the most of the shots and had a little bit less possession. We're still 56% possession, which is good. Um, they were playing this 4 4 1 1, um, which was quite defensive. And the goal they got was very unfortunate. Um, yeah, but just it felt like one, uh, two points lost rather than one gained, which is uh, it's good because we're new to this level and it, it should really be a point gained. But the players didn't feel that, so. Yeah, so if we just have a look at Robbie's goal. Um, Robbie Leg has been very good since he's come back in. Um, useful to have a, a poacher who's quick and who will finish. Um, let's just put that on to director. So Harry Tobin, who is man of the match. Big ball over the top to Joe Charles. Taps it back across. Great header. So that was a really, really nice goal from, from Robbie. But the unfortunate own goal was very unfortunate. Lavery cross. Did you see that then? The sun just hit it back across and it just hit Harry. He wasn't even, it didn't react. So yeah, one all I feel that was two points lost. But yeah, it's it's good, it's not a loss. Yeah, next up was a wow game. Now Kingstonian finished second in the Bostick Premier last season. Um they were something chronic like four one favourites to beat us uh, from the bookies. They played 4 3 3, which obviously was overpowered last year. So I decided to go wide on them. And um, yeah, we murdered them. Absolutely took them apart. So if we watch the goals, um, it was. Yeah, I was, I was wowing a lot during the game. It was, yeah, just crazy. So it was right a lot of the right side there. So I mean, yeah, Charlie to Frank, and then, yeah, Mr. Higgins, bottom left hand corner. And then, yep, yeah, to Morris. It's almost exactly the same, but over to Harry who absolutely battered it in the top corner. Um, that was 2-0. Harry again, who's started the season amazingly. Great crossover to Morris, who taps it in after it come back off the post. 3-0. Harry again. See all the wing play? We just went around them. They were 4-3-3 three, three narrow. And Charlie Higgins, bottom left-hand corner, drove it in nicely. And this was my favourite. Bruce, ball over the top. Defender absolutely, uh, yeah, had a mare. Joe Charles took it off Robbie Legg's toe and said, I am scoring this goal, and went in and scored in the 80th minute. 5-0. Yeah, crazy. It, it was sort of out of nowhere. And if we look at this, 19 shots on 12 on target, 62% possession away from home. We absolutely destroyed them, which was amazing to see. And lastly, in the free game uh, spell off camera, um, it was a 0-0 against Chessant. And Chessant... Uh, won the South Central last year to get promoted uh, by 10 points. So again, another good side. Um, if we look at the stats of the game, they had slightly more shots. We had more possession. Um, yeah, it was it was close. Neither of the forward lines really did much. Again, it was a 4-4-2, which we don't tend to do as well against. I know I keep saying this, and I maybe should have something else in the locker to try and go up against it. I feel like I don't want to disrupt the way the team is playing though because they're playing so well for where they are player wise with the levels they're at and where they are in this league at the moment yeah, I just don't want to disrupt that it's not worth it um, so as you can see yeah, Bruce our, our new 
centre back Tom Bruce has come in 18 year old and he's been yeah very very solid very solid indeed 7.35 and three games uh, four games in the league you cannot grumble about that from a centre back and uh, yeah Mr Tobin 7.92 or five games in the league has been an absolute star to that point our other left back to Mill Roach isn't really getting a look in so that if we go and have a quick look at the league table leaves a second after four games we cannot grumble that is absolutely amazing here we are fight bravely against relegation and we've got eight goals we're, we're two points a game so yeah yeah continue on with that and that would be amazing but today we are here for the goal at game against Sutton Coalfield so I think I told you last time they're a league below us I always find in cups I've always struggled against the lower league teams really don't, I don't know why but I seem to always do better against the teams that are slightly above um, yeah I, I really would like to get at least a couple of rounds into the FA Cup this year we um, we drew against Avely and the, the um, replay got absolutely battered by them last year so it would be lovely to, to get a nice little cup run because you can get a decent bit of money out of it I mean last year we we got a few rounds into the FA Trophy drew Chesterfield away they had 4,000 come to the ground and um, yeah, we end up getting 35,000 quid for it so yeah, you can't grumble with that um, Harry, yeah, he had a little bit of a, a niggle last time we had a couple of players who had a little bit of a niggle last time uh, nothing major but it's only, what, that was Wednesday so two, three days ago so what we're going to do is if we go to the match preview if we go to the team selection let's just have a look, see so I've decided to give Charlie a rest at 90%. I don't know now whether I should try and keep the same team. Arthur's definitely going to have a rest at 84% because he's just, yeah, he's a bit tired, bless him. And Harry, 67%. No, he's not playing. Uh, not until next week anyway. Um, I I do think I really I should have Mr. Tobe in him. Tom Bruce at 91 as well. He's been doing so well. I think I am going to not disrupt my centre-back partnership at the moment because they have been immense. <clears throat> but I will have Tamil playing left-back and Liam Marm coming in the right-back with Charlie. 91? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave. Yeah, I'll let Charlie play. We've got a full week after this unless unless it goes for a replay and then, yeah, we're going to be playing on Tuesday or Wednesday again and I might have to rotate then. Um, yeah, so Tom Delamere comes in for um, comes in for Arthur because he is, yeah, ideal coming in at this sort of defensive centre midfield position now Sean Stewart I'm looking at this and thinking I think Charlie should play at 90% so I'm going to yeah, just swap that about Charlie Higgins has been playing this attacking role really well Charlton Govain hasn't started the season very well but then last season it did take him a while to get into it so Ben Morris 91% but I'm going to give Nathan a game Keep not swapping every game but yeah at least giving them both some game time which is seeming to be working really well. Robbie Leg didn't have a brilliant game last time, so I'm going to let him, um, yeah, have the game off. Tom Bearwish came in on a trial, and I like the look of him, and I brought him in. Now he's on 150 quid a week, which seems a lot for a 19-year-old, but I see 13 heading, 11 dribbling, that dribbling, nine finishing, and a decent first touch. Bit of leadership and some really, really good physicals for a pressing forward I'm thinking I see him and Frank Rosenwald as being the, the, the future at least the next few sort of two three seasons for the club so I mean he's right foot and Frank's left foot as well so that works really well together um, I don't know whether Joe is going to be good enough at this level um, again he's got some decent physicals and yes he scored a few goals last season a few 40 um, and 22 he might have a little bit of room to develop he's got four star potential so I'm going to keep with him but also you've got Tom there who's ranked our second best with Robbie Legg so yeah it's nice to have some and not a surfeit of really good forwards but enough that we can rotate nicely and keep everybody as happy as they possibly can do so yeah yeah we're going to play Frank and Joe this game and let's see what happens um their team selection is a, I do like playing against the uh, defensive midfielder because we can really pressurise them 
So uh, yeah, I'm gonna submit that. Tom Delamere, yeah, I know he's a little bit tired. Actually, no, I'm gonna not gonna proceed because I wanna have a look at this again. Sean, Jamie, Ed, Arthur's not playing. Robbie shouldn't, now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Robbie out. Ben, I think I'm gonna bring Ben in for Kieran, just so I've got that opportunity to swing to the right right wing for, if I wanna take Nathan off or wanna take one of the forwards off and I've got that four three three wide going for me. And um, yeah, I'm going to bring Steve in for Jamie because Steve is a better defender. So I'm going to submit that team and um, yeah, I'll see you for the first half. Um, welcome for the first half here against Sutton Coalfield in the FA Cup. Um, yeah, it could be a, a difficult game this one I think, but they are playing with their left attacking midfielder with an injury. So yeah, that bodes well. I think that they would have had similar number of games to what we've had already in the, in the league so yeah, nothing doing so far though we've had a couple of shots though we haven't got quite as much possession as them so yeah God, this is uninspiring isn't it first of anything really is a yellow card for, for Sutton Coalfield um, we are piling the shots in but not seem to be doing much with it not enough to get any uh highlights anyway now oh, this is crazy <laughs> I've had a few halves before with no highlights but yeah not that many and um, oh, so they have the first highlight Horton to Moore bangs it we are absolutely narrow there aren't we crikey Horton drifting in with Moore who's oh my god <laughs> yeah yeah so a lovely little left footy curler in the top corner as much uh, Callum could do with that. God, we are schoolboy there, right in the middle of the pitch, congregated. But more, yeah, was that 30 yarder? Sort of almost gone through Callum's hands there, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Yeah, that's difficult. There's not much, much happened in the game, and then they go and nick a goal like that. But they are shattered. Come on, boys. That was uninspiring to say the least no it hasn't been a classic so far okay they've got slightly more possession we've had shots we're not seemingly doing anything with it though so let's have a look at our tactics who's again it's the forwards Frank on a yellow again as well I mean is he seven aggression so yeah what I might have to do I think is get get Mr. Bearwish on for his um debut I think just to change something around but he likes being a pressing forward doesn't he does Joe like being anything else less so okay I think I'm going to swap Joe for yeah I think I'm going to have yeah I'm going to have what's his first name Tom Tom Bearwish as uh, the attacking forward in the second half what do we say aggressive Okay, I'm going to leave that as is. Um, well, the assistant's done a little bit more firing up as well, which is good. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Let's have a look at the analysis, shall we? So left-sided, obviously, as we'd expect, but we've got no specific um, sort of drive up the middle or left or right. It's just we, we play with overlaps. They are playing a lot on the left, so they're trying to exhibit a uh, take our right side. Okay, coke, yeah, that's quite interesting. So, I mean, if I were to bring Ben on later on, that might be something we can think about. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the middle. We're narrow as it is. I should have maybe had the middle to start with. Um, whip crosses. Let's have a look at Tom. What's his heading like? 13 heading. That's interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to float crosses over. Um, I think I'm going to hit early as well because this working the ball into the box doesn't seem to lead to any highlights even though we're shooting so let's give that a go for now I put money on it the assistant manager will say you're taking lots of shots from long range please do something about it and then yeah I know it's going to happen but I'm going to leave it on early crosses I was on early crosses for the whole game against Kingstonian when we won 5-0 but that was against the 4-3-3 narrow and we were playing very wide so this is sort of opposite it's okay yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with that and uh, see you in a second for the second half. 
welcome back to the second half so let's see if we can get something out of this game I would prefer not to go out in the um, the extra preliminary round of the FA Cup to a team that's a league below um, yeah they've got a 7.4 and an 8.2 obviously we've got nobody doing anything really which is quite surprising I'm going to leave it to 60 obviously we're having shots and not doing anything with it let's pause it there now let's have a think. So Tom Berish has come on on 6.7, but he's only been on for 15 minutes, so I can't really save away. I think I'm going to take Joe off and bring Ben on and play Tom uh, on his own. What as though? If I play him as pressing defend, it's what he wants to do. He's against a centre back. Uh, sorry, against their cent uh, defensive midfielder, I'm going to take the focus off, go wide, really wide. Not really wide, just go wide. Um, hit early crosses. We got. I'm going to go much higher on the line as well. We're defending quite wide. I'm going to defend standard, so we don't get pulled really wide and out of position. Um, yeah, hopefully this is going to sort of change things up a little bit because that was getting quite stayed in that, well, in the first 60 minutes. I mean, it's showing 11 shots. We've done nothing, absolutely nothing. So come on, Ben. Let's see what we can do with somebody who's a 13 head up top, much higher. And um, it just seems like one of these games at the moment. Yeah, nothing happening whatsoever. Come on, I'm going to have to demand more. Yep, they're focused, but are they going to do anything though? Right, let's make the final sub. Yeah, he's looking exhausted. I think we're suffering from the fact we didn't really have a pre-season. We, we finished on the 29th of, Jan uh, 29th of June, and I've let the, most of the, nearly all the players that played um, have that week off sort of around the early July period, but they just seem to be shattered. Right, I'm gonna bring Sean on. What do we do? Do we have him attacking as well? Yeah, I'm gonna have two attacking centre mids. Delamere, these are both support, aren't they? Let's get them higher up the pitch. Um, we're positive we're gonna go attack him for the final 10. God, see if we can get anything out of this game because this is going to be really, really, really disappointing. Thought we were playing short passing. Really looks like it's just going to be one of those games. Nothing doing. No. It's a ball over. What was that? Oh no. It looked like there was a chance there, but it looks like we're going out here to take up. Well. I'm sorry for bringing that game to you. That was yeah, pretty poor. Yes, we had 60% possession. Yes, we had 17 shots. And yes, their goal was a, a bit of a weldy, but yeah, disappointing. I suppose that is one less sort of Tuesday game we're going to have to worry about and we can sort of concentrate a little bit more on the league, but still really disappointing. Um, yeah, that was, they're so, no, it wasn't pleasing. Not happy. So, okay, um, next time let us have a look. I'm just gonna continue on, see what's gonna be best to bring you next, because that's our FA Cup done for the season again. Who knows, next season might be out to win an FA Cup game, that'd be amazing. Um, I don't think the trophy is for a while because we're coming around, higher, uh, around further on now, we're up in the seventh tier. Um, yeah, let's just have a quick look, see on the inbox. Yeah. Oh, we were unlucky. Nah, didn't feel like it. Didn't see anything happen. <laughs> oh, thank you, Charlton. You've leaked that to the press, have you? That's cool. They can, yeah, they can do what that they they do with that what they will. So let's have a schedule. Look at the schedule. We haven't got an FA uh, Trophy game until the twelfth. So what I might do. Yeah. <laughs> 
contemplate a double header with Hartley Wintney, Hartley Wintney, and the FA Trophy game, uh, so we can get a little bit further into the season. So yeah, if you like what you're seeing today, because I certainly bloody haven't, um, yeah, put a thumb on the video. That'd be superb. Subscribe for this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and hopefully see you soon. Cheers, bye. Mm -hmm.